Games, Brains Have Bang Life with 10 things. 10 things we love about the French progressive death metalers, Gold Jira. Whew. A band we both adore, a band we've both been following for quite some time. Uh, we consider them, I think we both do consider them at this stage, one of the best, if not the best live band in the world, mm. uh, based on performances throughout 2018 and 19. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was about time they got the love and hate um, treatment, starting with the love. Do you want to get started then? Yeah. Why not? So, in no particular order as mm, always. Of course. Um, first thing I thought of actually instantly when I was thinking about Kajira was the drums. Oh, okay. I, Mario, I did this nice and short really, Mario is one of the best drummers in metal. He's an absolute beast behind the kit. He Definitely is. fantastic and he's the core musically of all of their songs. I wish I'd written that one down. <laughs> I didn't write that one down. I wish, can I just have that one? <laughs> yeah, you can have that one. <laughs> now, nah, my first one is, um, weirdly enough, the very first song I ever heard of theirs is still a song I love to this day. Now, that normally don't be first to a song. You ever play it, you end up disliking it. It happens to lots lots of bands. Not Wood Girl Jira. I should point out that my, my ones, my, my ten are stretching, which wasn't easy. But basically, A Sight to Behold Off the Way of All Flesh uh, was the very first Gojira track I ever heard, and I fucking loved that song. I, I played that probably every day for like a year straight, and uh, we listened to it again recently, and I was like, that is still, I still love you. I still love this fucking track. Yeah. <laughs> um, so my, my next one is just originality I think some of their riffs in particular say songs like Stranded or even The Gift of Guilt are just not only cool but they're immensely original I kind of I remember, this is not a, a direct quote but I remember I think it was Dimebag Darrell who said something about there being no riffs left so all the fans do now is borrow from everybody else fair and, enough and I kind of feel like because you're a fan of the new wave of them though you know I don't think you just did a riff to Stranded that that's been done anywhere before. No, God, no. You'd yeah. notice it a mile away, wouldn't you? Because it's so fucking... No, I've already got it on my head. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get to that one in the hate video. But <laughs> <laughs> um, Rising through the ranks of metal, right? So, Gojira, here's the really interesting thing. The rise of bands tend to require some form of compromise to your sound. Look at any of the bands. Look at the differences. There has to be some form of change or compromise. That's not the case with Kojira. You go and listen to their earlier stuff, the early albums, the Terra Incognita, and up to Le Enfant Sauvage. That's Gojira. And they have risen up and up and up without changing that. There you go. How can you not love that? Uh, my next one, just them as a live band. <laughs> okay. I did write they're probably the best live band in metal right now. Um, the music's way heavier live. They really pull off quite a show. Insane use of backing screens, pyro, confetti, lights, all simultaneously sounding absolutely amazing. Yeah, we double up on that. I wrote one of the best live bands these days. Exactly what Brendan just said. Um, if go go, uh, you know, having experienced it, go GR are just very very special. So here we go again. We doubled up. Cool. Um, so the vocals. Okay, I'm of course. Go, I'm just going to go through the fucking, <laughs> fucking band. band. <laughs> the guitars, the bass. Um, <laughs> the roadies. Well, I am a big fan of the, Joe's vocals, actually, to be <clears> fair. Like, uh, I love the fact that he, he kind of has that border voice, you know, where it is singing, but it has a little gutter or ledge to oh, it. Oh, yeah. You know, he can kind of get really high and deep with the growls and everything like that. But for the most part, he's actually still clear and understandable. You can still, you know, he enunciates his words really well. So even while shouting or growling, I think you hear you it. You hear what he's saying. It doesn't just become become a wave of noise. You absolutely and I love right. that about it. Um, yeah, good stuff. Absolutely. So I'm about to just get really lazy because I struggle with this. <laughs> I'm and just going to do like songs. Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of tying into the live experience thing. And my next one is that hey, I got to see them play uh, their first ever UK headline show at Bloodstock 2018. Um, which is always a great, great thing to see a band. We've actually had to get joy of experience in this with a couple of bands being given their first UK headline slot at Bloodstock. Hey, yay, Bloodstock. Uh, but 2018 was Gojira's time to headline a major UK festival. It was Bloodstock, um, and they smashed it out of the park. Yep. Um, 
my only one song named in it, uh, The Gift of Guilt. Of course. Uh, I love this song. It's perfect. Everything about it. Riff, chorus, drums. Um, if anyone doesn't like Kajira, it's a song I play and she'll let you know. I'm like, how? Yeah, um, and if they turn on and be like, yeah, it's all right. And you're yeah, like, the you fuck's know, wrong with you? Can't talk to you anymore. Uh, same as if I was trying to get someone into Kajira, it's a song I'd go to. You know, it's, it's the perfect metal song for me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, it is. Um, it is uh, still to this day my favourite Kojira track. Uh, continuing with the live theme, I did say I was pretty shit at this part. Uh, the Brixton show from 2019. So if you were lucky enough to, I think it was Brixton and Birmingham that got this show. It was just two dates, or maybe Brixton, uh, London, London and Birmingham, should I say? Uh, might have been London and Manchester, but it was only two. And <clears throat> this was Gojira came over and he did shows, and we went to the Brixton London show. And um, you weren't even supposed to be there. My son was supposed to come with me, but he had something to do with college the next day. So it was like, hey, come, free ticket. You're like, yeah, cool, whatever. I can't say for sure how into it we were going to be, mm. but by the fucking end. Yeah. This is still, this is like seared into my memory. The sound of Joe talking, apologizing because certain elements hadn't worked that night because a beer had been spilled or thrown over the desk. And it was like, the fuck? This has been spectacular. But there was meant to be more? Yeah. Yeah. Um, absolutely, it, it is one of my all-time favourite shows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we doubled up on this one. I, I highlighted it as well, just what a show. Yeah. Packed to the rafters, a band at their absolute peak. It's an astonishing live set of music, just blew. Anyone who was there was blown away by it. Anyone I know who was there, the comments on Facebook, everything about it was just like, holy shit, what did we just see? Yeah. You know, it's something that will live long in the memory. And the band, band like my review of that yeah. show so much, they shared it, which was quite cool. Yeah. Okay, we double up. So, right, one thing we love, and we love consistency. Be it consistently great albums or a consistent lineup. So, Gojira came to life in 1996, and I've had the exact same lineup since 1998. Fucking A. Well done. Glad you all get along and love each other so much. I mean, I realize to be your brothers, so yeah, that probably yeah. helps. Yeah. But that doesn't mean anything. Look at Oasis. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> uh, we, we double up on that one as well. <laughs> that is something that, yeah, we, 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 do, we, we love. do love it. You know, it's been many, many years. They had, I think since their name changed, since they changed from Godzilla to Gojira. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, and there's not been a single lineup change. I love that. Proper band, in it together. Yes, absolutely. fucking um, My next one then. Been nominated twice for a Grammy. Awesome. Gl glad to see Gojira got nominated for a Grammy because that's such an important award. Uh, but he got nominated for Best Metal Performance uh, for Silvaria and Best Rock Album for Magma in 2017. I mean, both nominations are wrong. The, mm. They were... Really, you should have been looking elsewhere, yeah. but that's the Grammys for you. Yeah. But they get in any time a metal band, particularly one like Gojira, um, who's, it shows your growth when the Grammys have gone, oh, yeah, all right, let's add them to the categories. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, my next one then, um, their conservationist sort of style. I like that they back up their lyrics by doing actual real work with the Sea Shepherd Conversation, mm -hmm. Conservation Society. Uh, there's a few things they've done. There's a talk of a charity EP with Devin Townsend, actually, with all proceeds going to it. I don't know, that was a year or two back, so I don't know if that's on hold. Um, they also allowed society to run merch stands at their show every tonight. It's not much, but at least they're backing their, their, their opinions up by doing something. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we've got something kind of similar, but less about the charity thing. Mine was just like, I, I think that the band, if you if you came to a person who knows metal and said, uh, name me a band that writes music about the destruction of the planet. That's what they're solely focused on, be it the seas and stuff like that. Most right. people are going to say Gojira. I'd say metal, like, we can give you a hundred bands who want about destroying the planet. Yeah, but no one's wanting <laughs> no to, one's to save it. No one's wanting to save it, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then my last one then, I believe. Uh, I've written The Next Metallica. And who knows if this proves right or wrong. We'll find out, I guess, in the future. But after years and years and years, and we've had many discussions about wondering what happens at festivals when Metallica, Ozzy, Priest, everyone like that hangs their boots or hangs their guitars up and say, that's it, we're done. Yep. We've always said, like, who, who, who did you know who did download Book in 2030? Or yeah. You know, or something like that. 
And yeah, it might not, you know, never know. But I think Gojira are potentially the obvious band that could fill those shoes. I think they still need a next album or two to follow on the quality of what they've done in the last two. Yep. But if they do, uh, I think Gojira will be maybe not in finance or anything like that, but of a size similar that they would actually become the next obvious headliner. And I did write down that, you know, we may very well be watching these guys playing at download when they are 70. <laughs> Fair enough. Who's the last one? How have I ended up with two more? Uh, well, my next one, my second last one was... Um, ty- oh, I have got another one, sorry. Cool. All right, my, um, my, my next one tied in a planet thing, and it was very important, which is doing all of that and doing what they do and the charity work and um, the lyrical content and the themes and the style never comes across preachy. I think that's really, really important. Yeah. And I've never really come... Ac- when, when I was getting into Gojira in the early days, I actually didn't pay attention to any of that elements. Um, it was only when you start reading and learning more, and you're like, oh, I would never really have noticed, which I guess is a good thing, really, because if they were standing up and singing, going, save the planet, you pieces of shit, it's all your fault, and it's all the kids today, or the boomers and stuff like that, you know, um, yeah, it would have been quite different. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what's your actual last one? Although, I guess if you don't notice it at all, then they're maybe not getting their message across. <laughs> well, I don't, I, 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 I've never been one for reading heavily into lyrics. Uh, my last one, which would have been much better in the middle of this list, oh. <laughs> because it's a pretty shit one, was just that I really love their use of screens in the background for their live shows. I really do. A lot of bands do it now. Ending on a high. <laughs> but they do it better. Uh, you know, they have the screen synchronised to every song. You know, during songs like Flying Whales, you get huge immersive screens showing all of it. I think they do it really well, and I think that's really, really clever because it just shows a bit of thought outside of just the music. You know, the effort that must go in to get in those screens, to be in the right visuals, to be in at the right points of the song where they're going to change things. I think it's fantastic. There you go. My last one is really just a band, lyrically and stylistically. It's something so different to what we often get from progressive and monologic metal bands. I think Ojira really do stand out as their own thing. There you go, 10 things we love about Gojira. And of course, heartbreakingly so, we will have 10 things we hate about the band. Make sure you check out that video and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, Do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?